Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. Mail call today from Spinetic Spinners and I'm expecting a pair of mini X's and a mini Y all in stainless steel. So let's crack this box open and check out the packaging and all of that because I'm really interested in finding out how the mini X and mini Y are going to be packaged. So here we go. I don't know why it has a repacked sticker on this though. All right, some paper in here and I've got the invoice at the bottom. Got a Spinetics name card in it. Get this box out of the way. Oh wow, nice new tin cans. This, this is nice. Hey, Spinetics team, Joshua, good job. This is really nice compared to the old tin can when it's printed on and a lot of people actually experience that printing actually being scratched off, but this has been etched in. Really cool. Let's get these out of the way. Three of these, let's open this up. Oh, so cute. That is a mini Y. That's really, really small. This is the Mini X and so this is another Mini X for sure. One of these X's belong to Tetris so I will not touch it. He actually asked for a stone wash. So I'm going to throw this into the little stone wash machine and see how the finish actually turns out. But we have the Mini X and the Mini Y over here. Let's just take it out and let's just give it a quick first impression, shall we? Right there, Mini X. There we go, so cute, look at these two. Right, the edges on the raised parts actually don't feel as sharp. In fact, they don't even look as sharp as the original X and Ys or the full size X and Ys. But the edges out here though, they are a little bit, little bit different. Gotta be careful of those. These feel a little bit sharp. But the buttons are standard spinetic buttons. So standard size buttons with a very, very small spinner frame and it's so cute. Oh, very nice spin. Look at that. Okay, I'm trying to get it balanced guys, look. There we go. Very, very smooth spin. Let's try it out on the Y as well. <laughs> I'm loving it. Very nice, very, very nice. They spin really smooth. I'm gonna have to time them, I guess. But, wow. Because it's so light, it doesn't even feel like it's hurting me. I can't even feel if it's sharp at all, even though I know that the outer edges here do feel sharp when you rub against it intentionally, but if you are just fidgeting with it, forward and backwards, no man, not at all. Not at all. Yeah, same for the X. Different resonance, I believe that's because of the number of arms as well, sheer amount of material. Very, very cool. Now, if I put them side by side, you can see that the arms are actually of the same size. Whereas on the full size Spinetic X and Ys, the X actually has thinner or narrower arms as compared to the Y. So these actually look pretty unique. They really look like they are related to each other. Look, it's literally just the same arm and then just in a tri or quad form. Good first impression so far. Good job, Spinetics team. These are really, really cute. I, I don't know what to say, it's just, they're so cute, look at that. Like, okay, well, first impressions are good. They don't hurt when you're fidgeting. Well, I've only been fidgeting with these for like, what, a few seconds. But so far, the feeling is pretty good. Nice uh, brushed finish on the raised areas as well. Even on the edges here, nice finish, right? And I'm gonna throw this in the stone wash. And uh, well, it is the weekend. So maybe before the weekend is over, I'll take it out of the stone wash and then I will show you guys the difference between the stone wash version and the standard version before I actually give it to Tetris. Maybe I'll even let Tetris try both and see which one he prefers and then he can keep one of those. And if I like the stone wash version, then I'll just stone wash the Y as well. But yeah, guys, you know the drill. I'll be putting these two on my EDC. Yeah, I'll be carrying these two at the same time. And then, you know, after a week, I'll come back and report to you guys about what I think about the Mini X and the Mini Y. But so far, impressions on these are good. They are very cute, very small, very light, very vegetable so far. All right, so I'm gonna spend that time with them and then let you guys know what I really think. Catch y'all soon. And Spinetic Spinners, good job, all of you. Good job, Joshua. Good job, Chris uh, and everyone else. I'm not gonna be able to mention all of your names, but good job to everyone. 2,000 years later. It's just about lunchtime and uh, Tetris is finally back from Vietnam. He bought me some nice Vietnamese coffee. Thank you. And then he's actually playing with the uh, Zentri Nano. <clears throat> but that's not the point. This is the point. You get to choose which one you want. What's this? Oh damn, this is... <laughs> so which one you prefer? You got... This is... Standard and stone wash. The stone wash is nice. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Smooth. But you get to choose whichever one you want. And then this is the case for you. Yeah, standard. Uh. They <coughs> knew they changed the case already. 
Like the The, the first one was the, the blue one was black Black on top Yeah Stonewashed Stonewashed Tibia It's yours So small It's like a little baby Power It's like the big spinatic had a baby <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah 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 You're right Some people put XL buttons on it for fun no, I think the buttons are great Cool Yay So now we know Tetris has decided to choose the Stonewash version I know I didn't give you guys a close up But I'll do it in a short while And then I guess uh, Once I'm done with the review On the Mini X and Y I will be Stonewashing my X and Y Oh since he's Doing that Then try the Mini Y The Mini Y here. Oh yeah you bought the one as well <coughs> This look like What's that Pokemon? Magnet Pokemon. Magneton? Aye. <laughs> no. What? What did you need? I want extra earpiece. Why? Because I forgot to bring mine. You want headphones? I can lend you headphones. I have only mine. Oh, are you using that one? Sure, anything. Yeah. Oh, Thanks. anything. I'm gonna show you guys a quick close up of the difference between a stone wash and standard mini X, okay? So you see the finish. It's a lot more grey. A lot of stone washing details. Nice stone wash finish. I'm really quite proud of myself for giving it such an even stone wash finish. Yeah. I know the trick now. If you guys actually have a DIY stone washing rig, Make sure you got a lot of the lubricant Whether you're using soap and water or you're using WD-40 And I know that some of you like to deep etch and acid wash your stainless steel or your Damascus steels and just, just make sure you have enough so that when you actually shake the bottle It sounds like the rocks are free moving Because you know like sometimes if you don't put enough WD-40 it becomes kind of like clumpy You don't want that So I just had to add a lot more and then now everything's working out really fine So after this I'm going to I have to stone wash my own stuff as well. Damn! Standard finish, stone wash finish. See the difference? Like, one is super shiny, and one is like matte. Yeah, matte. Damn nice, ah! Thanks, bro. Congrats on your own mini X, man. It's yeah. great. Custom stone wash, bro. Yeah, you can't get this anywhere. <laughs> I should go and secretly sign it underneath or something. I think we can, and I wouldn't even know. <laughs> Alright, catch you guys soon. I'm back! Can you guess which is the difference, which one's the Y and which one's the X? You know, when they're spinning, they look the same, right? So that's the first thing I want to mention to you guys. Now, if you guys own a classic Y or X, like I mentioned in my X Plus and Y Plus video, well, you notice that the arms on the Y and the X classic versions are different sizes, but for this one, they are of the same size, so it's actually really cute. Especially, I think, the X. The X looks a little bit cuter because these arms, when we're talking about the entire proportion of the spinner, they are a little bit more chunky in comparison to the classic X, and that actually works out very, very well. I really like the way this X looks. The Y definitely is nice, but the arms here look a little bit narrow for the Y. So uh, that's based off the looks itself. And I found myself gravitating more towards the X between the two of them. And I think that the main reason why is not because of the number of arms, but because of the overall weight. And that's kind of obvious because the arms are about the same size. I mean, you guys can see, right? It's the same size. So four arms equals to a heavier spinner. And that's the reason why. So if you're wondering how I carried these two around, basically I had one spinetic pouch and then I just fit both of them inside the pouch exactly like that. The both of them fit inside the pouch very nicely and if they're gonna fit in this pouch, they will fit in the new spinetic pouch. And this is how I carry them around with me all the time. Here we go, X and the Y Mini. Now I'm gonna give you guys a quick size comparison with, yep, it's a stubby. <laughs> so, <laughs> obviously it is way smaller than a stubby. And just for another size comparison, I have the Soul Spin right here which classifies as a micro size spinner. So you guys can have a look. The Mini's 
and the saw spin are roughly about the same size so yeah and with that said even though these are named the minis i believe that they kind of classify under the micro spinners category because they are so small i know that the kepler mini is known as a mini as well but it is technically a very very micro size spinner i mean in my opinion in my opinion there isn't really a standard out there there's no measurement standards or measurement you know like restrictions or categorization but i think that these are kind of like micro sized so yeah but they are very fun very fishable very pocketable and very very discreet now you notice it doesn't really make much of a sound and i'm talking about the stainless steel ones where stainless steel is known to ring quite a bit especially on the x it's almost silent yeah now i don't think i opened them up in the earlier part of the video so here we go it is a standard bearing retention method and it uses an r188 bearing which is pretty darn amazing for such a small size spinner now when you look at it this way you can really tell how much quality has been put into the machining of this same goes for the y so that's really quite surprising i really like what they've done with this and i'm really enjoying this spinner it really is in my opinion very 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 cute i've not seen a cuter spinner so far just like what tetris said it looks really like just a child of the classic x and y spinners now on to the fidgeting of this no problem at all i mean you guys already saw being a tri and a quad respectively you have no issues fidgeting with this in any way that you like in any grip I mean, honestly speaking, these are just super comfortable and very light. So that means that it's going to be super fishable. Now, if you're going for forward and back pulls, it's not going to be any problem at all. But when you start preloading your flicks and you want to perform strong preloaded flicks and then you stop it, it's the stopping part that actually gets to you. And the same thing goes for both the X and the Y. It's the stopping part that actually gets to you because the arms are a little bit sharp on the edges. They do look really good for sure, but sharp edges are sharp edges. And even if you don't, experience any discomfort flicking or pulling with the arms like that you're going to experience some discomfort when you actually stop it because you know flicking and stopping make up the full fidgeting experience right so just really wanted to point that out to you guys however it is not difficult if you guys want to round it off you could just use a i guess a nail file and then take to the outer edges here it's actually really simple and what i did was i i rounded the outer edges on tetris's x just a little bit then threw it into my stone washing rig and the results were really really good now what i'm gonna do after this video is i'm going to definitely stone wash these two I really like the look of the stone wash finish but on top of that it really makes everything a lot more soft and a lot more fidget friendly. I love it. I mean not to say that it's not fidget friendly now. These are really good in terms of fidgetability. It's just that personally it's like kind of like a perfectionist kind of thing. I really want the edges to be super comfortable and that's my opinion. One more thing that a lot of people like to do. They like to swap out the buttons for bigger size buttons and that can be kind of cute from time to time but to me doing so actually kind of takes away some of the fidgeting experience but for the fun of it i'm just going to give you guys a quick look so i have the v1.5 origin buttons that i stone washed that was on my stubby and i'm going to just fit it on to the mini x there you go so when you compare it like that it looks a lot cuter right but you're missing the middle core i guess because it's not flush anymore so that means that you're not able to rest your finger on the inside and every time you have your finger resting like this you're going to be rubbing against the button's edge instead of the core or the frame itself so not everyone's going to enjoy that and for me from time to time it is interesting it looks really cute see because it changes the aspect of the spinner altogether. But the original experience is really great itself. So in my opinion, I, I don't see a need to change the buttons out. Unless you just really want it for the looks. Which is honestly really cute. So I'm going to have to admit that it's really, really cute. Alright guys, on to my final verdict. Now these being mini-sized spinners. And I'm just going to call them micro-sized spinners. So these being micro-sized spinners. There's not a lot that you can find fault with. Micro-sized spinners are meant to be pocketable. They're meant to be discreet. And meant to be very fun fidgets. And these spinners fidget very very well y doesn't get as much love as the x does but they do look good and for the collector you know you guys are gonna just collect all anyway but in my opinion and this is an honest opinion in terms of design these are possibly the nicest looking micro spinners out there in the market like in comparison to the kepler mini for example a lot of people reached out to me and said hey you should do a review on the kepler mini you know uh, you should really grab it it's a really great spinner etc but in my opinion like it's not I don't know, Just the design just doesn't look as nice as these two. Now, when the Kepler Mini first came out, I know that these weren't out at that point of time. It never really interested me to get a Kepler Mini. Even though I've heard people raving about the Kepler Mini, it just didn't appeal to me at all. It's just like, it looked kind of meh. And I mean, yeah, it's cool to have a micro-sized spinner at that point of time, but just it just didn't do it for me. 
But when these came out though, I was like, what? They look so good. Even the try, it looks so cute. I really love it. I just like the design and that's something that is, I guess, a bit more subjective. It's more of a personal taste. And well, because they are micro size spinners, you're not going to get good spin times with them. I'm getting about a minute and a half, especially on the X. Sometimes I hit two on a lucky spin. But this Y usually gives me about a minute and minute and a half because, you know, they're not meant to be long spinners. But it is surprising that I'm able to hit two minutes up on the X. Like, I never expected that because these are just really great fidgeters. So all in all, I really like these spinners and I highly recommend anyone who has not tried a micro-sized or a mini-sized spinner, if you guys want to call that mini-sized, to get one of these because they are affordable and they look really good. And they come in a bunch of different color options as well or different materials, but these are just super pocketable. They do hurt a little bit after long use, but that's easy to get rid of. Just take a nail file, like I mentioned, and just round off these corners over here. That's really all I have to say about it. I really like it, and I'm so glad that I bought it. Like me and Tetris, we were waiting for these to be released, and when it finally released, I was like, man, we gotta hop on this right away. <laughs> yeah. So on to the pricing, everyone. First of all, these are available on the Spinetics website, of course, and they are available in brass, copper, stainless steel. They're available in electroplated black as well as electroplated rainbow. Let me just give this guy a spin while I talk about the pricing, okay? Here we go. All right, so the brass version goes for $22.99. The copper version goes for $23.99. And the stainless steel ones, which is these guys over here, they're going for $24.99. The same price, $24.99, will get you the electroplated black and electroplated rainbow if you guys are interested in that as well. And they all come with matching buttons. Also, the pricing is the same between an X and Y. So that's really, you know, at the end of the day, it's just dependent on what design that you prefer. There is also a bundle that you can get which is one of each. If you guys are looking to get both, it will save you a couple of dollars. But for me, at the point of time, I did not buy them in a bundle. I bought everything separate because there was some problem with the checkout cart. I believe that that issue has been solved by now. But yeah, um, I got them separately and well, it's not that expensive. So in my opinion, a really great buy and a really cute piece to have in your collection. I, I like them and everyone who's seen them so far, the first reaction is always wow so cute so small so cute and then when they start fidgeting with it they'll be all really surprised like what they actually fidget really well so good job to the spinetics team for actually doing this i don't know if there's going to be any more versions or variations of the mini line and i look forward to seeing if you're going to produce any more of these mini spinners like maybe a mini eye for example i don't know how that'll work but but that should be quite cool right <laughs> and someone actually mentioned in the x plus and y plus review video that they were hoping for a mini x plus and mini y plus i, I don't know if that's even going to be possible but if it is i'm going to be so down for it because you have removable weights on mini size spinners and if that happens i think it's going to be mind-blowingly awesome as always guys links in the video description below i did not regret the purchase of these two i enjoy them so far it's been a great experience and they look so good i'm going to stone wash them for sure because i want to get rid of these sharp edges but that's just a personal opinion and that's about it Thank you so much for watching everyone and sticking all the way throughout. I really appreciate your viewership so far. And this might be the first time you guys are seeing this grey background. So let me know if you prefer this grey background or you prefer the older black background. This allows me to perform table spins here. The black one did not. But yeah, just let me know what you guys think. And basically, that's it. I will catch you guys in the next slice of my life. Bye everyone.